Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime, and here we go with another word problem. So, Lucy's playing cards. Lucy shuffles a standard pack of playing cards, 13 clubs, 13 hearts, 13 diamonds, and 13 spades, and asks her sister Rosa to draw a card at random. What is the probability that Rosa does not draw a heart? So again, with a word problem, I really like to start with where I'm going. What am I trying to find with this information? Uh, GED students often make the mistake of starting with what they've been given and just squishing things together any which way. But know where you're going before you begin. So where I'm going, they've asked me to find the probability, the chances or likelihood that Rosa does not draw a heart. Watch out for that does not draw a heart does not draw a heart. So we're looking for the probability that her card that she picks, if she picks up a card, is not a heart. So really we're looking for the chances that she draws something else, something besides a heart. Now there's not just one right way to do this problem, okay? Um, I've seen students add to get there. I've seen students subtract to do what they need to do. But what I do want to point out is there's only one way to find. Um, anytime I say there's only one way, I get a little like a start in my stomach because I know that in math class, there's lots of ways to do things. But let me just say there's one definition for probability. Probability are the chances that something happens. It's always a number between zero and one. Zero meaning no, it's not going to happen never. And one meaning, oh yes, it's always going to happen every time. And so a lot of times we'll use um, everybody's favorite way to talk about pieces and parts of numbers so that we can get in between that zero and one. We'll use a fraction. So you can use a ratio to find probability. And the way you're going to do it is wins over totals. That's my shortcut way of talking about probabilities. The number of winning cards out of the total will give you the probability that you're going to do what you want to do. So let's think about what a winning card would, would be here. We're looking for the probability that Rosa does not draw a heart. So anything that's not a heart would, as we say, win in this case. So let's see. We have a lot of cards that are not hearts. We have some clubs, some diamonds, and some spades. Now one way to do this would just be to add up the clubs, the diamonds, and the spades. If you're thinking, Kate, I would do that a different way. That's fine. Like I said, it's not the only way. But I could tell you that 39 of those cards there are winning cards. Now remember we said probability is always out of a total. It's always out of a total. So how many total cards are there? Well, there were all those 13s already, this 39 cards, plus there were also the hearts. So I'm just going to add these hearts in to find the total. 9 plus 3 is 12 and 52. So there's 52 total cards. So what are the chances that she's going to uh, not draw a heart? Well, 39 out of 52 cards are not hearts, so 39 out of 52 chance. Um, but just a warning here. Final fraction answers are always reduced. And hopefully, because of the fact that there were 13 of this card and 13 of that card, and, and I was adding up 13s over and over again, I hope that you could see that this fraction is not reduced because it has a common factor of 13. So I'm going to divide 13 out of these, and hopefully, not surprisingly to a lot of you, there were three groups of equal size cards that were not hearts out of four total groups of cards. See what I mean? Three groups, clubs, diamonds, spades, they're all equal size. Out of four total groups, clubs, hearts, diamonds, spades, three out of four is the final answer here. And if you're the genius who went right to there without doing any math, congratulations to you. For the rest of us, we reduced. I do want to point out to you that you can reduce in your TI-30XS calculator, your GED calculator. You should know how to do that, whether you needed to do it for this problem or not. So if you weren't sure if something reduced, you didn't notice that little thing with the 13s like I did, you could type this into your calculator. Make sure that you're in math print mode, so mode, math print. But once you're in math print mode, you can type 39 and then the fraction button, N over D is the fraction button, and then 52, and that should give you the fraction 39 over 52. And if you just press enter, it will reduce the fraction for you, three-fourths. 
Okay, great. So what's the probability that Rosa does not draw a heart three-fourths or three out of four? Um, great. If you have any questions about this problem or any others, drop them in the comments.